Hello and welcome to Raggy's Bears, Wines and Spirits Reviews. And uh, you can tell by the voice, I've got a bit of a cold. Uh, it came on yesterday, I was really ill last night. And uh, somehow I'm more resilient than I think I am because I've managed to knock it back by the throat. But I feel better. Um, so tonight we're going to do a lager review tonight, it's a bit of a while. And uh, supposedly one of the better lagers, certainly from selling and price wise it is, Peroni. Um, so Peroni, obviously Italian, 5.1%, so one of the strongest um, normal lagers, premium lagers you'll get really, unless you get stock room for the, you know, craft stuff. I haven't really drank for any for a long time, so this will be an interesting review. So, as usual really, with most lagers, it's a gold straw colour, white head, uh, lots of carbonation, as you would expect. <sighs> Lovely light malt aroma. Quite uh, crisp, you know, nice aroma. Oh. A little bit more quality than the uh, the likes of um, Budweiser and things like that. I know Budweiser's 5%, and unless I got a bad bottle that day, it got a rubbish review off me. My lowest review was from that 2.1. Uh, 2.4 I think it was, the lowest review was a real ale that tasted rancid. Um, if you can hear bubbling in the background, I've got a homebrew wine on the brew. And uh, it's, in, it's in the middle of its uh, brewing process. So... Because it's come out of the fridge, it's really crisp. You know, it's really refreshing. And the fact that I've got a really sore throat. Well, not sore throat, but it's certainly, obviously you can tell by my voice. And uh, so it's really, it's really open. A good taste to it. So let's have a look on the internet. Well, I've still got a bit of... Um, so, Peroni, P. Review. So, on ratebeer.com, remember, these are beer drinkers, not lager drinkers. Primarily, anyway. 2.16 out of 5. Wow, that's a bad review. From 1,500 ratings. So, bottle. Skunky Euro grainy notes. Clear gold with a small white head. Grainy, skunky and a nice long finish. Uh, never formally checked off this. Often seen menu bolster an Italian cachet carry of a brew. Uh, picked up an overpriced bottle. Is It's indeed a premium and not a pale lager with an assertive but not aggressive crispness and a lack of adjunct or weak rusty malt notes. But not so good. It's worth drinking outside Italy. Um, someone's put, it's better than average for the style. Decent summer option. Uh, clear golden, fine white head, grain, straw, light skunky, woody, brute, spruce, citrus, leaves a bit watery, uh, light to medium bitterness, sweetness and sourness, light body, lively carbonation, bitter finish. And the reviews, there's a good review for it. It is a very good drinking beer with quite high price. It's a lager, let's get that one out. Uh, very pale yellow colour, medium foam and almost heavy body describe. Taste is long lasting but light hop and a hint of malt. I liked it very much. So yeah, <clears throat> it's a lager. 
and like most lagers, like malt, you get the grains, you get hay, you're not going to get much else. All down to smoothness. I find the best lager I've tasted is like some Heineken. Estrella's really good, uh, but most are pretty bland, if I'm being honest. This falls into that region. I, let's be honest, don't understand why it commands the high price. Uh, Corona, to me, not that great. Yeah, it de demands a high price. Uh, the normal beer of Moretti, it's okay. But another one, massively high priced. Heineken's as good, if not better than all of them. Estrella's better than all of them. And yet, yeah, for some reason, people have got it in the red. Perona, Italian, Italian, all this. It's decent enough, you know. Um, goes down lovely. It is a good log. Let's let's get that you know out out in the open. Doesn't compare to real ales, but then again, real ales have got more taste in them. If you put this up against something like John Smith's and uh, McCaffrey's and Tetley's and you know basic uh, canned beers, then it's in then it's in the fighting category against them. Yet against real ales with lots of bags of taste, bags of flavour. High alcohol strength doesn't compare, not at all. Um, but for the large drinking population who aren't interested in taste, this is their one of their top brands. I mean, you look at anywhere in any supermarket, I worked in Sainsbury's for five years, and any time Peroni came in the back and it went, uh, whenever it came on offer, sold quickly. Whenever I had any damaged multi packs, went straight away. All in the name. But it is better than the likes of Carling, uh, Coors, uh, Carlsberg, Fosters, all them sorts of things. Stella, Budweiser. You know, it's a lot better than them. But not a, not a patch on any real ales. So, out of five. I'm going to put it in the same category as Heineken. Heineken just nips it, actually. But I think they're, they're extremely close. They're extremely both good, you know, ales. So I'm going to give it a 4.3 out of five. It doesn't deserve any higher than that. Can't understand why it commands such a high price. You know, it's not... It's, it's okay. It's not fantastic, you know. It's not drinking it and you think oh you know this is quality it's good but it's not fantastic that's my review anyway what do you think thanks for watching see you soon